Hey, what's up scrappers? So um yeah what I'm gonna do in this video is um do a little teardown on this um old school PC. So um yeah I picked this up in that pickup and um I got quite a few comments people saying I should do a teardown video on it. Um I've tore a couple of these down in videos before but um yeah I'll do a teardown on it and we'll see what we've got inside. I'll do a little research on the board inside, see if we can get like a value of reselling some of the boards and obviously like the um, cables and that would just go scrap. So um, yeah, I'll, I'll uh, do it that way. Um, it's bloody cold today, so I'm just in a hoodie at the moment and I'm wishing I'd put a jacket on or something. Um, yeah, so it's a bit funny the weather in the UK at the moment. It's, it was warm yesterday. It was absolutely freezing the day before and this morning it's really cold again so um yeah there's no happy medium it's hot cold well not hot but warm <laughs> so um yeah so uh, yeah we're gonna do a tear down um i haven't got the key to undo this so i'm hoping i can take the screws out the back and the um front should just flip off hopefully that's the plan um as you can see here i don't know if i bring it a little bit closer there we go, can we see that? So um, yeah, so it was last tested in 1997, so 23rd of January 1997, so that was the last time it was tested. Its next test is due in 1999, so that was my last year of being at school. So the last test was due 19 years ago, so um, yeah. <laughs> So, uh, let's, I think there's another sticker on the back. God, hell of a weight to these ones. So, where's that other sticker I see? So, we've got another sticker here. Can we see that? And that was that was last tested in 1991. Don't know if that focus in. So, the 9th of January 1991. So, in 1991, I was what? Bloody hell. Seven years old <laughs> when it seemed to have got its first test. Uh, I think he's chucked a few RAM in here. I can f hear a few things rattling about and a couple of these he's been chucking the RAM in so um, I probably won't add them to the value. Um, they'll be easy to determine whether they're a part of this or not. Um, yeah so a nice big switch here. Tell us old school. Uh, no USBs, <laughs> no Bluetooth, oh yeah you can see the RAM there, see there's a couple of loose RAM in there, so yeah, so right, um, I'm just going to whip the case off and then we'll have a look inside. Right guys, so I'll whip the um, top off, so it come off quite easy in the end. Um, these are the couple of bits of RAM that were uh, inside, so um, they're one gigabyte ones, so they're fairly new. So um, yeah, so this is uh, what we've got inside. So as you can see, they're IC chips for days. Um, we've got these riser cards and slot cards, all sorts in there. So like, you can just, oh, getting the tripod, got the tripod in a funny angle. So you can see the gold here, like compared to the new PCs, like that gold would be so much thicker. It's still not gonna be thick, but it's gonna be a lot thicker than the, um, then the newer ones, and look, like you say, you just don't get IC chips like that in the newer PCs. So what I'll do, I'll be keeping this board, I'll be keeping the um, slot cards, oh that comes off, and um, yeah, and I'll try and get a resell value for those. So what I actually do with these is um, I'll put them in the um, anti-static bags, um, do some little bit, well, do a bit of research on them, uh, write it all down, and then. I'll either tape it to the outside of the bag, so for a later date I've already got all the information to hand. Um, I got this for free, so whatever I make on it is going to be profit, so the way I look at it, I might as well just collect them, because um, these are just going to go up in value, you know. Um, you see some of the prices and they're crazy, so um, 
so yeah um all i do is um just collect them for a later date maybe for a retirement fund <laughs> something like that i don't know um yeah and just um go down that route so um yeah we've got the um da -da 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 -da. what's it called power supply unit so you look at the size of that so that's just like one giant massive square so now you can get a better feel of the size here so it's a massive um unit um it's got the hard drive down there might be two no just one hard drive i think so we've got a hard drive down there so that's going to be absolutely tiny so it'll probably be like a few megabytes and then we've got this um massive um so we've got a floppy drive there and then we've got the big what's that the six inch in it i think is that what they call it the six inch um drive i might be wrong um yeah so i got that as well so um while i'm looking at prices for these boards i might have a look at the price and just just see what they're going for you know um i probably won't bother selling them uh the six inch drive unless if it's worth good money then obviously i will um so yeah you can see the old school board in there so it's got all the um all the components all the old school components resistors and all sorts um scrap value wise for that drive is going to be sort of pennies really so um you know if, if it's worth saving then i'll uh definitely save it so right we'll uh whip some of these bits apart and actually see what we've got inside so yeah i thought i'll um, just film this bit um, as i'm taking them out so this is the um ram what i was saying about so we'll just put that to one side because that's obviously nothing to do with this So we'll just release some screws just to get these slot cards out. So yeah, look at the um, lovely looking IC chips on here. So if you're going to be reselling these, you need to take care of the way you're taking them um, cables out. So um, you don't want to be uh, bashing them about. Um, also. With all these components here they're so um i don't know fragile you need to be careful you're not like bending them over and all of that so um yeah so i'm just having a little look at it so these are e-proms so they've got the glass front on there so you can just feel it under the um sticker there obviously i'm not going to take the sticker off i'll leave all that on there um yeah, so the way to identify this one would be probably so you got this code here, so HC dash one oh one dash A one trans transic 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 something like that. Uh also you got another code here, so you could type all that in. Um yeah. And try and identify it that way. Some of these are really, really hard to identify. Um also in E waste Ben he done a video recently and he was saying actually these IC chips one of these IC chips can be worth just as much as this whole everything together so it's even worth if you've got the time just to put some of these codes in on Google see what comes up you know and um, go from there so uh, we'll put this to one side because I don't want to get damaged so we'll put it over there so we've got the next one here so again you gotta be careful where you're holding it. So um so yeah some nice um IC chips on here so these are the removable ones um a little bit of dust on there <laughs> so it's always worth giving it a good clean if you're gonna be reselling them the cleaner they look better they look really um they say a lot more gold gold you can feel the gold you can feel the gold on there you can see it in the reflection as well like that it's like being in a Egyptian pyramid full of treasure. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I'm just trying to see if I can see a date on any of these chips. Uh, da -da 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 -da. No, it just tells you where it was made in Japan. Um, so I guess we've just got um, a code here. So we've got a part number up here actually. So that'll probably be the one I'll put in first. And um, yeah, try and get value on that one as well. Um, leave the brackets on if you're going to be reselling them you might as well uh, leave the brackets on 
otherwise whoever's buying it might have to go buy new brackets it just makes it more sellable that one doesn't want to come out for some reason why does that not want to come out if I take that out should come out it's just being yeah there we go again it's just trying to be careful so this is um I believe that's a video card <laughs> this one um because got these on there obviously the VGA uh, cables so I've got a little bit of um a little bit of wear and tear on there oh, that's coming off it's just I think it's just a little bit of green from the board so um here we go we've got some codes here week 51 whatever that means is there a date? No, usually there's a date on these. But it doesn't seem to be any dates on them. So, um, yeah. So I'm guessing that'd be these codes. So that'd be, that'd be a video card. This other one, I think it's another video card. I think. I'm no expert on these ones because they look so different. Um, yeah, so that's the... Um, Still a hell of a weight to it. So that's the uh, slot cards. So right, let's just take some of this stuff out. Let's attach it. Do I take them screws out? Yep. So fiddly. Not good on a cold day. E waste Ben, you don't know how easy you got it in Australia. You get to wear flip flops in the winter. Wow, that one does not want to come out, and it's awkward to get to. Why is that not coming out? Ah, oh, it is. There we go. So that's what I was saying. <laughs> Look at the size of that thing. So that's massive. Um, yeah, there's going to be no resale value in that, so um, that'll just go. That'll go with the other ones. So, um, oh man, my hands are freezing. So a little bit of steel, we'll just chuck that in there. Another bit of steel, don't know where that came from. And, um... So we'll just try and find some of these screws. Uh, so this one's this one's held in with the um, little plastic lugs. So uh, makes it a little bit awkward because any other PC you just rip it apart and not really think about it. Um, how is this held in? So the floppy drive. Let's see, so these are held in on the front here. Am I getting this? There we go. So that should. so it's just a floppy drive so it's an old school one um, yep just nothing special about that and then we've got this where's this held in so we've got a couple of screws here this is going to be awkward because it's Get rid of that. 
so yeah this is um a bit of a beast really um have we got any part numbers on there so it's got number jvc so um it's all cast aluminium as well so that's quite nice um do, 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 do. yeah there's nothing nothing magical about it or anything so uh So that's how that actually works. So that's what actually grips the discs in there. There's no disc in there. So uh, we'll put that to one side. Not so I've never never looked into um, whether they're worth anything. So uh, that'll be a learning curve for me as well. Where is this stuck? There we go. So here we go. So we've got the hard drive now. So um. I just panicked then, I thought, have I got this on record? Um, yeah, so, uh, wow. <laughs> 8th of May, 1988. <laughs> That's when my little sister was born. Wow. This is old. <laughs> what size is it? Surely it says, um... Uh, I don't want to waste too much time searching for the size. Nope, can't sit. Whoa. This one is like on the bottom. Wow. Let's try and get some of this out of the way. So we've just got a couple of screws. So similar to um the newer ones, the way the brackets are on, so it's just side side little screws, one there, one there. So there's two each side. Alright, which way is this gonna come out? So we've got a cable that might come out of there. Wow, wowzy, look at that. I think that might be one of the oldest um, hard drives I've actually come across. You can see it's like two parts. Um, <laughs> wow. I'd love to know what size that is. But it doesn't look like it says. Um, no, it's not going to tell us. Oh, that's a shame. It's got a serial number though, so I'll, uh, when I'm checking the other stuff, I'll uh, check that serial number, see if it tells us. Right, so I'll have a little look into that. So yeah, when you're doing this, you want to put everything to one side, just uh, stuff you're reselling, keep it away from your scrap stuff. So that's just like a bracket, that's just steel by the looks of it. So we'll uh, chuck that in with the case. Uh, we'll get to this motherboard but I need to get some of this out of the way. Um, yeah so I was going to try and sell this um, the actual shell but um, I don't know if you can see it earlier in the video you can see the top is all just damaged and worn and yeah, I don't think no one would really want to buy that. Um, that's the thing with these old ones, because people could smoke um, in the offices back in the day. So, um, yeah, so most of them have got, like, smoke damage. So, uh, you can see that one's, like, yellow, basically. So, um, so yeah, there isn't much um, resale value on the actual tower. Which would have been nice, because it could have kept it all together. Now, this is going to be awkward. The way I like to do this is pop these off so I bought, bought these they're tiny so um, I want some uh, longer ones to give you more sort of leverage and like get them further into things and uh, I don't know if I misread it or what have you um, these turned up from Amazon and they're absolutely tiny but they are brilliant they're so sharp so um, I definitely recommend these um, the smaller ones I don't know why seem to be a lot sharper so um, just taking my time here a little bit just to clip these off. Because obviously I don't want to catch any of the components. It's a bit awkward. I'm trying to do it without sort of blocking your view. And taking my eye out as well at the same time. Whoa, easy. So that one went flying. Um, is there any more? Yeah, a couple more. Right in an awkward position as well. Uh, that one I popped off. Hmm. So 
So that one there is really awkward. It's next to a it's next to one of them little components. So hopefully, no. Hopefully that should come out. Um, see, these ones are easier. This might make a bit of a boring video, this bit. Oh, right, I think that's all out. Hmm. Something's keeping that in. What's keeping that in? Could have been that, was it that? No screws on the bottom. There's one. Nice one, straight in the eye. See, once you take the tops off, It makes life a lot easier. Um, I think I might be able to get to that one under there. Will I? Will I? Won't I? There we go. So in theory, with a little bit of... Ah, that would have helped if I uh, disconnected all these. Again, being really careful. And there we have it. <sighs> right, so um, let's see if we've got any dates on here. Right, what we got? So I did see a bit of goo on there, I don't know what that is. That's week 51 again, whatever that's trying to tell us. So yeah, here we go, 87. So we have a date. 87, <laughs> 1987. So what? how long ago was that? So 18, 28, 31 years ago. 31 years ago this was made. That's quite mad, isn't it? I've still got underwear older than that though. <sighs> oh, someone's hair, lovely. So um, yeah, if you've got an air compressor, give these a good blast with um, air. Obviously don't put it too close. Um, that's a good way of um, giving it a clean. Or buy some um, cheap, cheap um, paint brushes, you know, softer the better. Just to give it a little wipe down. Because you don't want to be taking this in the house if you're, um, if it's got all like dust from, I don't know, 1987, you know. You might have cholera or the plague in there or something. So, um, yeah, it's got a little bit of, um, there seems to be some sort of green dust. Um, I haven't got a paintbrush to hand. Yeah, I have. Oh, no, I used that, it, so it's hard. So uh, I think that'll come off. So I'm actually just wiping those bits off with my thumb. I uh, just need to get in there. Um, yeah, so 1987, Intel, um... Just trying to have a look for any codes of any sort. <sighs> um, da -da 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 -da. See, sometimes you look at these and you just cannot find a code. Then you go have a coffee, you come back and you look at it, and it's right in the middle. And you think, how did I miss that? So um, there's loads of codes on here. So um, basically, you just have to go through and find out which one goes to this um, board. So we've got another date here, so 1986. So that's um, when that IC chip was made. So 1986. So, ah, here we go. So we've got a part number down here. So made in Taiwan. We've got a code there, version 1.1, part number 001-0386S-F08. So um, I think that's the little... um the little number we need so uh, yeah I'll give this a clean up before I take it in the house and then I'll do a nice little bit of um yeah there we go if we do that we'll get a good view I'll make a good um little thumbnail as well I think and um yeah we'll get a value so usually I'd set all this up I'd um weigh it all find out what it's all worth write it down then um then I'll do the next part of the video, basically going through, re-weighing it all, um, 
like so. So what I'll actually do with this is I'll sort out this stuff which I'm going to be scrapping. I'll put them in little piles, so steel, cable, uh, power supply. And then uh, go in and get a different sort of value on the reselling side. Um, yeah, so that's about it really. So there's just a little bit of wire here which you need to clip off. So um, yeah, that's basically it. So um, yeah, I'm going to spend uh, about probably about an hour just um, going through. Everything seemed to have part numbers, so it should be fairly easy to um, uh, identify it all. And then uh, yeah, we'll get back and we'll uh, get a sort of value with the scrapping side and a reselling side and then a total kind of profit. Because like I say, I got this free, got this with all these other PCs and all my laptops, I don't know if you can see them over there. Where are we? Somewhere over here. So we've got all the laptops, they're all sitting over there still. They haven't even moved. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I just got to take all the hard drives out of them and um, resell them basically. Um, I don't know if I said this in previous videos, but a lot of people buy them and then they send them to like places like Ghana, um, other places in Africa, and basically they get reused. So um, a few of them are damaged, but they use the parts off them. And uh, yeah, and then this is my little <laughs> plastic um, pile I've got going at the moment. I got rid of uh, quite a bit just recently. So um, as soon as I got rid of it, I got another load. So yeah, what we're going to do is, um, I've got to say, uh, I'll go in, do some research, and then come back and we'll work out what it is. Yeah guys, I was just um, cleaning up some of these cables, getting the um, little clips out. So, um, not clips, um, gold pins. So, um, yeah, you probably got, you guys probably know how to do this. But um, to get the uh, gold pins out of these, all you do is give it a clip on one side, pull the top bit of plastic off, so you're just left with that. Uh, well they look silver so you think ah oh, there's no gold in there and then you take it off and they actually um, just come off as easy as that uh, sometimes they, the gold bits will stay on the side um, and then all you do is chuck them in the tub so I've got a little tub here that's where I've been chucking a few and then uh, go through all at the same time and um, <laughs> none's going to come out now are they that's about right Right, there we go. So we've got one out. So um, can you see that little bit of gold on the end there? So that's that's all of the gold which is in these. So uh, it's not much at all. So um, I've just done one, and I've got quite a, um, a lot of gold on there. So these ones, they've only got the tiniest amount of gold on there. So um, here's another one. So there we go. So you can see where are we? So you can see this one. It's got a lot more gold on there. So um, it's only the top bit. Uh, this one's both sides, so um, a lot of them are just one-sided as well. So um, that was like the little thin ones, and then you got these bigger ones. So you need a bit of a bigger wire cutters. So these ones are a lot thicker, as you can see. Um, there we go. So you just clip one side. Don't get rid of that bit. Sometimes they can be. Bit of a nightmare, huh? Oh, that one basically just fell off. So every single one is different, though. I find. So, uh, so all you do is pull that through there. The best way to get these out, so once you've got a load together, is actually nail clippers. Don't use the nail clippers you use every day because you're going to blunt them. I found that out. I went to go cut my toenails, and um, yeah, I blunted them. So, um, and the missus went mental. So, um. Yeah, I wouldn't even use your wire cutters really, because if the amount you have to go through to actually get them out, you're going to blunt your wire cutters as well. So, um, so yeah, and then you've got a clean bit of cable. So this just goes in with my household cable. So um, that's how my yards told me to do it. They said chuck it in with your household. I was like, fine. I used to um, separate it all. And he's like, it's basically the same stuff. So I've just done the same thing on this one. But as you can see here, there's then another layer of plastic. So you can do it, go through both bits of plastic at the same time. See, this one's just a tiny one, a bit hard, because there's nothing to grip hold. So that's now a clean bit of uh, insulated um, cable. Go like so. Chuck that in there. And there we have it. See, that's got a... Is that going to focus in? There we go. 
so there's a tiny bit of um, gold on here. There's going to be more gold on these ones because these are really old. So this is what I was saying. So you've got a bit of plastic here. And then there's another bit of plastic here. So it kind of loops around. So to save time, go through the lower bit. Can you see that? So if you go through that lower bit, one little clip there. Bump. Basically unwind it. Bump. And then pull. And then this one. See, so loads of them stayed in there. But at the same time, a load <laughs> stayed on here too. So, um, yeah, let's see if we can see the gold on there. See, so that's just worth putting to one side. Because that's easy gold. I just dropped that one. And yeah, so uh, that's how you tidy them up. Uh, they go quite quick in the end. Um, exactly, I'll just chuck them in here. Then I chuck them in a bigger box. And then I sort of organise the bigger box. Let's see if I've got... I've been chucking some in... Uh, here's a few. I've got more up in the attic where I sort of store everything. So, um, this is kind of... Once this is filled up, then I'll just chuck it into the... Um, the bigger tub upstairs so as you can see there's a nice little nice little um, quantity in there of gold treasures so I can see some of these like that one there is just stuck out look at that that one's just pure out of gold obviously not solid gold before anyone asks me any questions in the um, in the comments um, Nothing solid gold, it just wouldn't be um, economical for them to do that. Um, yeah, so I just thought I'd share that with you guys, uh, and I'll uh, get the valuation sorted in a minute. Right guys, so I've uh, done some uh, research on these bits. Um, basically what we got out of um, the scrap value of stuff is a bit of cast aluminium, we got that out of the floppy drive. Um, the PSU, power supply unit, a couple of little boards and uh, some cable so uh, I'm not going to weigh the uh, scrap bits because uh, we've done videos on um, scrap bits from um, PCs and uh, basically just the scrap value of that stuff come to £1.47 so that's just this stuff here not including that hard drive there but it's like the um, cast aluminium uh, power supply unit bit of cable bit of a lower grade cable a couple of little boards um, yeah, so that come to one pound forty-seven. So in Europe, that'd be uh, one euro sixty-nine cents. Uh, America, two dollars nine cents. Australia, two dollars fifty-nine cents. And Canada, two dollars fifty-six cents. So um, yeah, so that's just a yeah, scrap value of um, that stuff we can't really resell. Um, the main point of this video was uh, basically the good stuff. So. Um, yeah, what I'll do is I'll put a little screenshot of what I found online in the top corner or something like that. Um, so yeah, if we start with this um, hard drive, um, yeah, I was um, amazed to find out how much this is actually worth. So it's only um, 20 megabytes. Uh, it's in good condition. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, like I'll say there'll be a screenshot in the top corner, and this is actually worth $275. Can you believe it? That is unreal. Uh, the postage was something stupid, like oh, I can't remember now. Was it 175 pound? That'd be in that little screenshot. Um, so in the UK, that's 193 dollars, 193 pound, if you converted it from the dollars. So <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely not going to take that apart. So even if I could sell that for half that, I'd be happy. So um, yeah, so that's definitely going online. So, um, yeah, £193. Unbelievable. Just for a hard drive. Um, so, and then we got the motherboard. So, uh, yeah, so the motherboard, it was a bit hard, really. I couldn't really find anywhere selling it online. I found, like, um, a place that sort of um, tells you the value of our uh, boards. And that was saying it's worth about $55. So, in the UK, that's £38. So, um... 
Yeah, so whether it's worth that, I'm not actually sure because no one was actually selling one of these boards. But that's on that website that was just saying how much that was worth like two days ago or something. Uh, it was a bit up and down as well, so yeah, I'm not really too sure about that. Um, also, I found a load of information about this five and a quarter inch uh, floppy drive. Um, I found loads of information about it, but I couldn't actually find anyone selling one. So uh, what I found is one which was similar. It was a Panasonic. This is a JVC. Um, it looked basically exactly the same, um, same kind of age. So um, yeah, so I found that, um, and that's worth a hundred and forty-nine pounds, apparently. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't have uh, believed it either. Um, and then we have this VGA, well, video card, uh, video uh, expansion card. So this is going for fifty pounds online. Um, then we have another. What was it? No, this one. So we've got this one here. So it's another video card with VGA. That was going for fifty-two pounds. And then I found this controller card. So this is actually a controller card for the hard drive. Um, and that was going for fifty pounds as well. So in total, just for this one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five for these five boards, uh, floppy drive and the hard drive in the UK that is worth five hundred and thirty-two pounds. Yeah, I had to just take a moment there. Five hundred and thirty-two pounds. This is what I try to say about these vintage computers, like people are just like binning them, you know, they think ah oh, they're old, they're not worth anything. You know, just by separating these parts, selling them individually, you know, that's crazy money. So in Europe that is um six hundred and eleven euros. In America five hundred uh, sorry seven hundred and fifty seven dollars. Australia nine hundred and thirty eight dollars and Canada nine hundred and thirty four dollars. So um yeah was, <laughs> that's why I sort of left the um weighing the scrap bits up, you know, at one pound forty seven or whatever it was worth. It's not really worth putting it in. Um, so yeah, incredible amounts of money to be made in these old vintage computers. And like I say, I picked up for free. You know, it didn't cost me anything. So uh, a little bit of fuel, a little bit of time. I picked up all these other computers. I picked up the 40 laptops at the same time. Uh, Skyboxes. So yeah, that was a hell of a score, really. Um, so like I say, this will be going in my collection. I'll be... Um, writing down what they're worth, all their part numbers on a bit of paper so I haven't got to search for it later um, and yeah uh, very good score so um, yeah if you come across these vintage computers definitely worth um, grabbing my battery's low so the um, flash just went off right guys hopefully this uh, helped you out and like always keep scrapping